Hello, everyone. I'd like to give you a short overview and a short demo of the uh, condition state phase work that I did um, for the CMBI operator. I opened up the pull request 110. If you're going to look at the repository, are you going to find it? That's the current state that is running on my cluster here locally, too. Um, what I prepared is that I have a window which is uh, watching the custom notebook image resources itself. So whenever I create one, it will pop up on the upper left side. On the lower left side, I am watching the Tekton pipeline runs. So if the operator, the CNBI operator, is creating a Tekton pipeline run, it will show up on the lower left side. Uh, let's create a custom notebook resource. Um, it is an import, an import of an image. So we're going to see the uh, customer notebook resource itself on the left side. And if I'm going to get that uh, resource now as a YAML file, you see that the status is, oh, sorry, the condition is the pipeline one has been created, the phase is running. So we are waiting for the execution of the pipeline. Um, you might have observed on the lower left side that the pipeline finished, it actually failed. Um, and on the upper left side, you're going to see that the custom notebook resource has also failed. That is um, something that we can expect. inspect. We're going to have a look at the custom notebook resource again. And we're going to see phase failed. Yeah, that's something that we've seen over here. And we see two conditions which indicate why it failed. Uh, we see the import has failed. The import is not ready. Um, that is ref uh, represented by a condition for image import ready with status false. That is a design pattern in um, Kubernetes, which is uh, seems to be okay. Uh, we have a negative um, status, which is indicating what we want to show off. And we have the pipeline run completed condition, which is down here, with a status of true. So the pipeline run has been completed. The import image ready is false. It is not ready, uh, the imported images. And both conditions conclude the current phase we are in the custom notebook run has failed. So that is uh, one part of the story. That is the execution, one part of the demo, the execution. You see what's happening. If I'm going to create a resource, the image fails. It is reflected in conditions. And these conditions are aggregated into the um, current status, um, uh, into the current phase in the status of the custom notebook resource object. I'm going to show you also um, a little bit of the source code. So if we're going to have a look at the operator, um, we're going to see in the API, version one, two, three, you know, CBI, uh, phases types, the phases that the operator could be in. Uh, sorry, the custom notebook uh, resource could be in. It is basically reduced to the bare minimum. It is pending, it is running, it failed or exceeded, or it is in an unknown phase. These phases are uh, determined by the aggregate phase, um, by the aggregate phase uh, function of the controller, which is inspecting the set of conditions present and concluding a current phase. The set of conditions is really a set. Um, if we look at the CMBI condition types, we're going to see that uh, conditions might be a lot. It is an array of conditions. Uh, and they can be present, numerous of them can be present at any time of the, uh, at any lifetime. Damn it, at any point of the lifetime of the custom notebook resource. These are the conditions. They are in a file called, um, sorry, they're in a file called the uh, CNBI condition constants. These are the conditions. As I said, uh, pipeline run created, uh, image import invalid, or image import ready, which is 
set to false in the example I gave earlier. Um, or we're going to have a look at this condition. It is pipeline run completed. If it's true, um, it is completed. If it's false, it is not completed. If it's not present, the pipeline run is not completed. So um, if we want to aggregate the phase and if we want to come to the succeeded or failed phase, this condition must be present. This condition must be set to true or to false to conclude a successful run or a not successful run. Um, if we're going to have a look at the uh, con no, at the API again and the custom notebook controller type and search for the aggregate function. We're going to see the aggregate phases function, uh, so aggregate phase function, which is taking in consideration all the conditions that might be present and conclude a phase that we are in. So what we created here for this um, operator is a very high level phase, which is running, failed, successful, and a very detailed list of conditions. Um, be aware that conditions might get away also. So if we look at the conditions and see something like uh, the required secret for an import is missing, this is a condition that might be present and might go away again. Um, so the required secret missing would be set to true if the uh, uh, secret for authentication against a repository is not given. If the operator is creating that secret and the reconciliation of the CNBI is happening and we're going to start importing using that secret, the condition would completely go away again. So it would not go to false because the secret is present now, but it would completely go away. Same for the uh, pipeline run created, right? This is a condition that is just meaningful if the pipeline is still running, uh, at least is not in a successful or in a fail state. Um, if the pipeline is in phase success succeeded or in phase failed, we don't really care about the fact that the pipeline run has been created. Obviously, it must have been created because we were successful or we failed. But this condition would go away again. Yeah, I think this is a short overview. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you need some more details, let me know. Go ahead, review the pull request 110 and have fun.